welcome friend to our youtube channel aptitude math learner with a new interesting question and the question today we are having that is zinc and copper are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 in 200 gram of an alloy how many grams of copper should be added to make the ratio 3 is to 5 so we have to find out the amount of gram added in the new ratio so for this the first thing which we have to do we take that let zinc and copper be in the ratio that is 5x and 3x So we have just taken zinc and copper that are in the ratio 5 and 3 and we have just taken that is 5x and 3x. And now we will find the quantity of zinc and copper in the present ratio. So this becomes that is 5x, 5x plus 3x. So how many grams? We are having of zinc and copper that is that is 200 gram. So in 200 grams, the zinc and copper are in the ratio that is 5 and 3. So here we get that is 8x is equal to 200 gram and x is equal to 200. So there is no need of gram divided by 8 and this becomes that is 8 ones are and 8 25 sir. and we have just now found out the value for of x that is 25 and now we will be able to find out the quantity of zinc and copper in 200 grams so this becomes that is so zinc is therefore zinc is equal to so zinc is in the ratio that is 5x we have just taken zinc 5x and copper that is 3x so this becomes that is 5 multiplied by 25 is equal to that is 125 gram of zinc so zinc is 125 gram and copper that is in how much gram so here we are having the ratio that is 3x and this becomes that is 3 multiplied by 25 is equal to 75 gram. So in 200 grams zinc is 125 gram and copper is 75 gram and now the next thing in the question also you can see that how many grams of copper should be added to make the ratio 3 is to 5 so for this we take that so now we have just found zinc and copper so zinc and copper we are having that is in the ratio that is 3 is to 5 so here we have to add how many grams so we just take x we add x and we will found out x to found out the amount of copper added to make new ratio and that is 3 is to 5 i hope till here you have completely understood so now if you see zinc we have found that is already 125 gram so 125 gram is this zinc and copper that was in the ratio in the gram that is 75 plus x and x is the amount of the gram added to make the new ratio that is 3 is to 5 and x is to be found out so for this we cross multiply it so 5 multiplied by 125 is equal to 3 and this portion goes upwards 75 plus x and this becomes that is 5 multiplied by 125 this is 620 625 
is equal to and 3 multiplied by 75 that is 225 plus 3x and now 625 and this goes to this side becomes minus 225 is equal to 3x and this becomes that is 400 is equal to 3x and now x is equal to 400 divided by 3 i hope till here you have completely understood and this x is the amount of the gram to be added to make the new ratio that is 3 to 5 and after dividing this we get here the answer that is x is equal to 1 33 upon 1 upon 3 so this could also be the answer so this is in the gram and this could also be the answer and these twos are our answer and the value of the gram to be added so i hope you have completely understood the question so thank you very much